What's up, man? Where are you guys headed? Uh, up the Matakwa Road. Up the Matakwa Road? Yeah. yeah. What are you going out there for? To dig a bulldozer out. To dig out a bulldozer? Yeah. All right, Rams, what's going on today? So, we've got a bulldozer out here. We've been looking at it for probably 15 years, joking about how we were going to get it out. My idea was always if I ever got made into like the bishop or scout master, I was going to bring the boy scouts out here with shovels. I'd camp right there and watch them dig it out. Then I was going to scrap it and keep the money for myself. But uh, we haven't got around to doing that yet. And uh, buddy of mine, Dave Sparks, he's got a little gig that he's doing where he rescues and recovers things that are stuck really bad. He's got kind of a pretty good little YouTube show. He likes to video what he does and people like to watch it. So. We're going to give him a chance to dig this bulldozer out, see if we can get it out of there. Now, I was careful not to tell him that it was stuck, because it's not stuck. I use the word buried every time, I think. So hopefully he's not surprised when he sees that this bulldozer is not stuck, but buried. And you'll see what I mean by buried when we get out there. Might stub your toe? <laughs> Maybe. So we usually see you out at Tikaboo Valley. Where are we at today? Okay, we're over here. We're going to be in the kind of the top end of the Beaver Dam Wash. We're headed out the Matakwa Road, get into the Beaver Dam Wash, and get up to where it kind of starts to get narrow and rocky. It's going to be rough getting to where the bulldozer's at, so I'm a little bit interested to see what equipment these guys have got and how much of a pain or not a pain it's going to be to get it to where we're actually going to recover the bulldozer. We might have our work cut out for us just to get to the dozer. I think if anybody can do it, it's these guys. These are the guys. We'll see what they can do. We might be camping though, huh? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, what time is two it? o'clock. It's getting late, so <laughs> we, we got an early start leaving, but we haven't done any work yet. It's been half the day just getting out here. But I guess if you saw the the recovery they did for that big track hoe, they thought it was going to take them two days, and they had it out in a few hours. So. These are the guys that do it if it's going to happen, though. We'll see. Nice day of adventure, huh? Oh yeah, it's going great. <laughs> yeah. So we stopped here for just a minute to talk about how far up this rough road we were going to go, and I noticed a bunch of coolant leakage from Heavy D's big Kenworth, so we checked it out, and there was a hose with a crack in it. Dave cut about three inches of the cracked end off the hose, scooted it back up on there tight, zip-tied some things together. Clamped the hose back together. Looked like it was going to hold, so we're back on the road.
Okay, now we've made it up here to the community of Matapua. This is the end of the road for the semis. We're gonna unload equipment off them here. They'll wait here and we'll take everything else up. It's a really rough road up at Beaver Dam Creek here. Main two pieces of equipment that we've got is the five ton wrecker. Got some big old tires on here, so it ought to be able to make it where we're gonna go. And also the Sani excavator with the thumb, handy piece of equipment we'll be able to dig or grab. The downside is it's five miles up to where we're going and that's gonna be a long, slow walk on that excavator. So we finally get up here to where the bulldozer is. Heavy D gets to see this thing buried badly. And I'll tell you what, one time I was surprised on this adventure is when he said, Hey, Ramsey, you got any shovels in your truck? Hey, I've seen what y'all have seen on YouTube. Big machinery, all kinds of fancy toys, and here we are, going to start digging this bulldozer out of the sand with shovels and a digging bar. But digging in the sand with Diesel Dave was pretty fun, and we got a pretty good bit of it dug out by the time the two-hour walk for the excavator was over, and it showed up. Just like that, with about two scoops, Dave dug out was about as much as we had in two hours of digging. There's hands with his GoPro. This guy's a hard worker and does just about anything that needs done. wound up with quite a crowd of spectators check this out brady rio and spencer holt they were looking for some cattle in the area and they stopped by to see youtube in action it's deer hunt this weekend so there were tons of people out in the hills one of the funnest things for me was watching all of them light up with a big smile when they ran onto the diesel brothers out here digging up this bulldozer in the middle of the bins I bet they didn't think they'd see that. Tech Knife Jim telling about a story, experience that happened to him in Brazil. He wrote a book about it called In the Pursuit of Life. You should get it guys on sailboats to sail them across the Caribbean, Panama. Uh -huh. so we hung out on the docks and found the sailboat captain. Yeah, but I mean, paid him 400 bucks to put all the Even after using the Sandy excavator to dig a huge hole around this sunken dozer, it still didn't want to go anywhere. First news, we bought 50 hot dogs earlier today and they're all gone, so with that having happened, we're going to call it a night and start over tomorrow. Plus, we busted a few pieces of equipment, chain, cable, we're going to call it a night and try something else tomorrow. How far did we get it, almost? No, I think we moved it 18 feet. It's missing a piece. We get it up out of the hole. So, missing a piece since we last talked to you. Yeah, the uh, blade has been uh, removed for convenience purposes. <laughs> no big deal. Nice. <laughs> Part two that tomorrow? Part the bulldozer has moved farther than it has in the last 25 years. 25 years or something, <laughs> so it's not a complete loss. Besides for all the hot dogs getting ate by the dog, that sucks. Yeah. All right.
First thing in the morning, I headed back down the road to the community of Matakwa and borrowed a D8 bulldozer. I think the boys are going to need this today. They're still in St. George snoozing in the motel. But when they get their breakfast date and get back out here, I think they'll find this thing to be pretty handy for what they're wanting to try to do today. We just spent the night, me, Lara, and the nine kids sleeping on the sand by a campfire right here. Heavy D, Diesel Dave, Jim, those guys are headed up here to work on this dozer a little bit more. I'm gonna get down here to the creek and wash my hands and face. I smell like camp smoke. Nasty. I'm gonna have me a little bath right here in the creek. Those guys will be here any minute and we'll start playing with that bulldozer and try to get it out of here. Ah, good night. Look at me, I'm driving Heavy D's five ton. He slept in St. George in a nice motel room, didn't get out of bed in time. Now I'm here playing with all his toys. It looks like Heavy D likes the bulldozer I brought him to play with. He's having a fun time now. He's smashing a few things up. Look at here, big boy bulldozer drags little brother bulldozer up out of that hole like he's nothing. Oh my heck, look at those ruts with the tracks locked up. Please don't tell me he's gonna drag this thing all the way down the road and do that to the whole road. Oh shoot, look at the dang ruts. They strapped the weight from the old bulldozer on the front of his new big D8 that he got borrowed. Hans comes along behind trying to do road maintenance, damage control, keep the natives from getting too upset about their road being destroyed. Diesel Dave hitching the ancient bulldozer up for its final ride out of this canyon. Oh, you been having fun? Yeah. What'd you think meeting the diesel boys? That's pretty cool. Did you think they were gonna get that bulldozer out of that sand? Not that quick. <laughs> well, it's headed down the road now. <laughs> heavy D left a heavy rock in the road. You want me to help you with that? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to help him. 
see this. I think I loosened it. <laughs> oh, you need some help? Diesel Dave rode the dinosaur all the way down out of here. I think they talked about politics, religion, girls, and everything else on the way. It was about a two hour ride. Tell you what, when this guy made up his mind he was going to get this bulldozer out of that hole, out of that canyon, and on his truck, there wasn't much going to stop him. It may be a little too early to celebrate victory. We've got the old bulldozer down to where the semis are parked, but it's not loaded on that trailer yet. Hopefully the neighbors really did want this field plowed up. idea here is to chain the old dozer to the blade on the new one, just pick it up and set it right on the trailer. Who thinks that machine can pick up the other one? My vote is not quite. As you can see, the man operating that machine doesn't take no for an answer. Deer Hunter Gordo can't believe his eyes. He never thought that thing would make it out of that canyon, let alone onto this trail.
There's old Gordo telling Bud about the big buck he shot yesterday. another way and make it work. Nice Diesel Dave is slightly worried about the wooden deck on this here trailer. The impossible has been done. This old bulldozer was dug up from the earth, dragged down the canyon, and loaded on the trailer. Now it's time to load the rest of the equipment, chain everything down, and get the heck out of here. Let's go home. We'd like to thank all of you for watching and ask you to please subscribe to Anchor Brand Ranch if you haven't already and share it with others.